Hello, 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 everyone. Happy Friday at Charlotte here. If you remember the last video, we did the snippet border thingies. And um, somebody asked me if I was selling these. And I, to be honest with you, I hadn't even really thought about it. I think I am going to list both of these separately in my shop though. So that's just a little bit of uh, news. Uh, now let's move on from that. I do want to show you, um, I'm doing a swap with someone and I want to show you what one of those looks like in an actual journal. So here is one that I created and um, this is what it looks like. I did not make this a pocket. It is a full border um, snippet and that's the other side. So I just thought it was they're so pretty that um, I just thought, yeah, I would show that. And then I got to thinking, if we can do that, why don't we do a belly band? And that's what we're going to do today. This is the belly band. Yeah, I did put a um, butterfly on it. And we are going to attach a charm like this off of uh, this, this idea I got from Kathleen Sunby and just love it. So there's the one side of the belly band and here is the second side of the belly band. So really, really cute. And uh, just thought, I went ahead and I made one and this is it. And I did a uh, charm on this one with um, kind of a beaded charm. And this is the belly band like that. So you've got the one side and then the second side. So. What happens with this is kind of what I just showed you is it, it goes like that. So this part of the cardstock on uh, the ones I have made measures an inch and a half. And then depending upon the uh, width of your page is how long you're going to uh, make your cardstock. But you want to beware when you do this belly band, you don't want a lot of thickness on the inside because you're going to be shutting your journal. And it might be better, let me, let me bring this journal back and show you what I mean. So, you don't want a lot of thickness up here next to um, whatever page is here because you want this to be able to close without any problems or issues. And of course, you're going to want to have an idea of what the width of this page measures so that when you put this in, you're not gonna have uh, too much length. Of course, if you do, you can just cut it off. You, you know, you'll waste that little bit, but I mean, that's okay. But this shuts really well, even with the tassels that I have there. I mean, it shuts really well, so. I just thought that this was a whole, whole lot of fun and um, wanted to go ahead and do one with you today. So this is what we are going to create. And it's not anything new. It's the same thing that we did before, only it's a belly band. So I really just kind of wanted to hang out. I pulled together some um, different items to use. I did run out of the cloth that I had that had the writing on it. And so what I did is I tore some, pretty sure this is some type of a muslin and it had been tea, tea dyed. I don't know if you can really tell that, but it has been tea dyed. And then I took some stays on ink, the permanent stays on ink, and I just stamped. So if you've got plain pieces and you don't like them, you can go ahead and stamp anything on them and use them. They're great. And then I found this handmade piece here and I pulled out some pink. I don't, you know, I'm not a pink person as you well know, so I don't know why I'm really getting into the pinks, but um, I have and I want to, here's another one of those pieces that I went ahead and stamped. And um, what I did is I started out with a piece like this and then just went ahead and started stamping it. 
So I think that uh, I'm trying to pull, find these. This is what I'm after to start with. I don't know why, just kind of makes a nice foundation, I think. And there are certain pieces that I want. I need a long piece here because we're going to have to attach our paper clip. So let's get started. Enough of my talking. Let's get started. I want to apologize for all the ads that popped up on that last video. I don't know. I know Roxy Creation has had trouble with um, the ads as well. And I've gone into the settings for that particular video and got rid of them. So hopefully if you're watching or if you go back and you watch that video, the one previous to this one, those ads won't be there. And I'm going to try to make sure that we don't have that issue with this video. So what we're gonna do, for those of you that might be catching me for the first time, we're just gonna do some layering, keeping in mind that this piece here is going to be up against the um, spine or the center of your journal page. And we don't want that to be too thick. And I think this might be a nice place to possibly use a piece of this. So let's do that. And we're not going to be stitching on this. Keeping in mind that you can have a lot hanging from the bottom, but you are going to be putting something in here. So you wanna be careful really about what you're doing at the top, um, unless you wanna be having to pull things back to be able to get like a tag or something down in here. If you have a lot here, you may have a problem. If you have a lot hanging or dangling here, it's not going to be an issue. So let's see, what are we gonna pick up? Maybe pick up a little pink, see how that looks. And then I've got this piece here. Let's look, put that there. Let's put something up here. Maybe get into something white. Too many straight edges right now. Too many straight edges. So I like that. Look at that. Can you believe this? Let's use that up. Just do this. And I don't like seeing through the netting but I hate to cover that up, so where's my pearls? I think that might, but then I've got this, see this, see this straight edge here? That's what I do not like. So let me see what I've got. Maybe put that on there like that. And then we need to do the paper clip because we are going to cover that layer of whatever holds that paper clip in place. So put that on there. Let's put our pearls up here. And then play with the paper clip. So these pearls are from Hobby Lobby. So they're nothing special. They come on a roll. They go on sale a lot. These pearls right here, they come in, um, eggshell color, you know, or beige or cream, whichever word you prefer. And they come in white. So let me grab a piece of fabric that's going to work long enough to hold our paper clip. So what you're gonna do 
is you have to remind yourself that this part of the paper clip needs to be on the outside so it needs to go like this because you want to be able to attach a charm or a bead or a button or whatever so this is going to be the inside that is going to be um, held down by a piece of ribbon or a piece of lace this is what is going to anchor our paper clip, this lace right here. So what we're going to do is take and put some glue on there, glue this on so that when this gets wrapped around, there is your paper clip there is your opening so that um, you can attach whatever you want on there. So then I'm gonna flip this over real quick and glue this down so that we can glue whatever we want on top of this piece of ribbon. So that's what it's going to look like. Hopefully you can see that and that makes sense. Uh, where is the one that I did just like that so that you can see how that got attached okay so what's next well what do we have oh, I like this crochet work I think that's pretty yes uh-huh 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 Maybe I have enough glue on there, I think I do. Let's put a piece of lace. Let's use this. I think. It's kind of like just putting a puzzle together. You know, it's kind of like your collage work. that. Let's do that. That looks good. And where is that piece? want this in here. Where is it all going to go? I think that looks good. I am going to cover up that writing, but that's okay. I like this piece there, so let's put her there. And we don't really need to see the edge of the um, paper clip, so if we hide it a little bit, that's going to be all right. I did bring over a butterfly, just in case we want to put one on there, and I think I do. So let's just keep going. What do we have? This is nice and thin. Let's put this here. So we're just going to build on this. You're going to keep adding until you have it the way you want it. I did pull over and cut several more pieces and um, I'm excited for this idea. I have this and I have this. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I mean by you just have to kind of keep going. If something doesn't look right, just keep adding.
And then you can kind of see that there is lettering underneath there. And where is this? this is what I'm after. Put a piece of that there. Cut this into two. You really could, um, what you do on one side could be very shabby and pink, and what you do on the other side could be very vintage and um, lots of browns and beiges, that type of thing. They don't have to go together. It's your journal. You can put on there whatever you want. If I'm gonna put a butterfly on there, I'm not gonna want that, because you won't see it. Put this this way, or save it for the other side. I think if you're going to use something like this, this pom-pom, you might wanna keep it towards the outside because of the uh, thickness, so you have to keep that in mind too. But this is the last little piece that I'm aware of that I have of this. So I thought this would be cute. And then every once in a while, opening this because you don't want to glue it together. Now, do I want to say this this is good, and then do I want to, if you remember, we had some of this, and it's still here, so let me see if I want to back this butterfly with something, knowing that it is going to hide quite a bit of the lace, so I don't think... I don't think I'm going to use this because I'm going to hide a lot, but I, 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 I do think that um, it needs something else here. If I do that, this, this I, I like this so much, I don't want to just completely cover this up, but I do have a plain piece like this that covering it is not that big a deal. So I think I'm going to because this just looks like it needs one more piece. So let me get some glue on here. Hopefully you don't find this boring. Sometimes watching somebody collage is just fun. Now we could do strings if we want with our butterfly. We could just leave our butterfly the way that it is. Um, what do we want to do? Let's let's uh, go ahead and make our little loop de loos and see if we want to use them. If we don't, we can use them on the other side. So what we're going to do is just take this thread and just make some loops. Don't need a lot. Just looking for a little bit of texture and one more layer of something. And I will tie this off in the middle. And we'll see if this enhances the butterfly or really serves no purpose because if it serves no purpose there's no really reason to use it keeping in mind again that you are going to be putting things in this belly band and you don't want to have well i would say that it enhances it we could have it going this way but i think I really, really liked maybe a little bit off to the side. No, 
needs to go in the center. All right, let's just make a decision, Charlotte. Let's get the glue out and let's just get her on there. Just like this. And as always, I end up with more glue on me than on the project. So let's glue this butterfly down. So guys, this is really all you have to do. It's very much like we did yesterday. And there would be the half, the first half of your page, which would look like this. Isn't that so pretty? And then you would have your dangle here. And then when you flipped your page over, you would have your other side. So um, I am going to go ahead and finish this and you can stay with me or not. Um, I'd like for you to stay with me, but I totally get it if you, um, cause I'm going to really be doing pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to finish her off and, um, get her done. I'm going to use these pieces here just to get rid of them and then pull in some different laces. I mean, you really could go crazy with this idea. Just crazy beautiful. Just, I can just imagine a belly band with all this flowing lace, maybe some bohemian jewels. I mean, you could just do so much. I am working with this because this is what I had left over from my other project, so I thought, let's make this happen. I think this would be really pretty. It has some length to it. This was from Hobby Lobby, $4.99, but it goes on sale all the time, so I think this on there would be really, really nice, but let's put something, let's use some of this burlap. This was a wired burlap. I took the wire out. There'd be a piece of wire here and a piece of wire here in the ribbon department. Um, Hobby Lobby as well. Just adds a different texture and a different look. piece of that there or let me see maybe there we'll put that little piece right here nicely right in there like that and then what do I have here what do we have what do we have haven't used any of this this is really pretty so let's put that there this will be towards the edge of our journal this is towards the uh, spine. So put that there. And, ooh, I've got this cute little piece here. Ooh, I like that. So let's put that there. This was the center of a uh, doily. So, 
if you if you watched my last video i said something about how it's difficult to cut up somebody's handmade work that you know it kind of pulls at the heartstrings knowing that somebody created something with love and um you come along and tear it all up like this and just have bits and pieces and i heard, and i heard from karen billinger and she said she does she does a lot a lot 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 of um lace work beautiful beautiful lace work and um i've shown her she sent me something and and i've shown her work before and it's just gorgeous and she said she left me a comment and she said i don't mind you know if people cut up my my lace work so i'm i'm like okay then well that's good to know so that kind of took a little bit of pressure off of me because you know, you know, you know, people put love into these things and you just really don't want to rip it all up, cut it all up. But then at the same time, you, you're taking something and repurposing it and turning it into something beautiful that somebody else is going to love just in a different form. So yeah, it's okay. Go for it. Maybe put some words right here. I like that. You can see this is pretty quick. It's a project that doesn't take a lot of time and it goes fairly quickly. Now I think we have a place for this. And I want it towards the top. Because I, I want to see that piece right there. Keeping in mind that we're going to put this there and there's just a little peekaboo of pink. So what if I take another one of these I could go here with this it'll be all right so just working with it working with it getting it the way you like it And then maybe on this, just taking and running some glue, just like that, putting it on there like that. And then I could go ahead and do maybe a few buttons. I've got this really pretty piece here. I think I am going to cut a piece of this so pretty and of course you would never want to throw this away because this is what you can take you can either use this in strips or you could um, ink this with a stamp stamp just about anything on here that you want and use that up but I like the idea of that just kind of peekabooing yeah that's really pretty so let's do that and it can flow we'll just glue the top it's not going to go anywhere so let's glue the top down and let that kind of hang like that and then i feel like we really need just one more little perfect something just there's got to be the perfect piece of something and I think we cut this and maybe yep I think that's it and 
you know, I could go ahead and do my seed bead thing, but I don't think that I will. I think I'm gonna call this done, and I will show you once again what I, what I mean by the uh, seed bead thing. I did it in the pre in the journal I showed you, or did I do it on this? This doesn't have butterfly or um, strings. So what I mean by that is uh, on here, what I did is I wrapped some of that uh, cording around this butterfly and then hung some seed beads off of it just to give it a little bit of motion. And um, I think that's really cute. And so you could do that on here. I don't really think it needs it. I think this is really pretty, the way that this turned out. So um, get your scraps out. And like I had mentioned before, if you don't have lace, paper scraps, use your paper scraps. Or if you've got ribbon, use all different types of ribbon. This is what it would look like on a page, just like this. And then if you flipped it over, this is how the other side would look. Now, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, well, I wouldn't want string and I wouldn't want beads. I don't want a butterfly. What you could do is, um, what you could do is take a ball pin or take a safety pin you could hang a charm off of here. You could hang um, some um, eyelash trim off of here. You could take a bold pin and hang a vintage button off of here. It would be really, really pretty because this kind of has, I think this, you know, this is handmade, this is handmade, this is handmade. It kind of has that vintage feel to it. So hanging a vintage button off of here would be really, really cute. You just have to keep in mind that you're going to have a journal that's going to close around this. So you don't want a lot of thickness. You could also, I had this over here but did not use it and again too this is from Hobby Lobby um, you could take a tassel this happens to have a tassel and uh, two beads on it which are really pretty and you could just find a place I don't like it on this but if you had something I mean this really would be kind of cute hanging like that so, um, yeah, should we just go ahead and go for that? Because that's really cute. I think we should. Let's just do it. See how things happen? They just, you think you're done. And, uh, nope, we have another idea. So we're just going to put a little bit of glue on here. And then we really are going to be done. I am closing this up and saying, that's it. Done. Done and ever so cute. Look at that. And I don't think that takes away from anything. So we've got motion here, which I dearly love. And we've got movement here. And then we've got the same thing with here, just some different texture. So guys, I hope you really, really like this. I know that uh, what we did in the last video was a hit that there were so many of you that commented on how much you love that idea and are going to create them. So I hope that you are and that you're having a lot of fun doing it, using up all those little bits and pieces. If you have um, lots of different little papers like this here, Start layering them if you don't want to do the lace. If you have the lace and you've got, you know, papers, just layer them. Lay these out just like you would lay your little snippets. They don't have to be lace. And um, they could be lace and ribbon, lace and paper, all paper. So um, gather up what you've got extra and have some fun this weekend. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And um, I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.